Hey folks, I'm back again. Here another video for you guys. New materials here. If you can see here in my my uh, my video here, this is a new material here for me. This is a copper cream brown chenille there. Uh, really soft. So you can see here in my vise here, guys. I have a size four Mustang. This is a Texas Mina head without eyes here i don't put eyes in this but i have like three or four colors here i have a cream copper and white and a little bit of sparkles in the head i think came in really good fantastic color you can see in the bottle there copper brown head there pretty much gonna match all the materials here guys so let's go start guys I want to go step by step for you guys so you guys can see better the materials, better the brand new materials that I have here. Let's go put some glue there. I want to use 210 denier. In this case, it's going to be hot pink here to match a little bit the head and to keep a nice color into the neck there. So I go behind the hook point and then come back behind the head. I'm going to stop right there and take this off. Now for the tail, I want to use this material here. This is a strong uh, hackles here. And this color is brown. They match a little bit the head. So I want to use uh, four pieces of tip of the hackle there. So I have already here this material here. You can see there. So I'm going to grab this with my left hand side. Put in the top. Just bring your thread back, tie this up, bring your thread all the way to the hook point, and then come back again behind the head and just leave your thread there. So I had two pieces there, a brown material there, and I got two more pieces here ready to go. Just trying to stack them up to be a nice and even body there. So Pretty much is going to match all the materials. I want to say thank you for all my new subscribers. And remember, keep that in mind. The more likes that I have, the more videos I can come out with. Okay, just put it right there on top of the hook shank. And make a nice tie wraps. And again, go back to the hook point. And stop right there. And then just come back again behind the head. Just go step by step, guys, so you can guys see learning something. I'm not going to go too fast, so you can guys see what's going on in the video. Okay. Okay. Now, for the flashing, I want to use flashable for this material here, for this jig here. So I have a four pieces here, the flashable. So I want to put it right there. Just tie them up. And just bring this piece back again and just tie this up go back to the hook point once again okay and yes bring your thread again behind the head so you want to grab this tail and the material the flashing and cut a little bit longer past the tail and that should be plenty enough flashing there and you can see that that flashing, flashing really good in that jig, especially it's gonna match that flashing with the head. The head is so shiny, if you can see there. So now I wanna give a little bit thread into the hook shank, just to fill it up just a little bit more. So when I tie my my chenille there, it's gonna be nice and even there. I wanna stop right there and put some glue here into the body okay put enough glue there so the material sticks really well to the hook shank there now this is the material that i was talking about this is new material here this is a copper cream brown medium chenille there okay so the nice thing here that this material here it doesn't flash that much but it's got two colors. You can see that it's white, brown, and then copper. You see this? Okay. So I want to put this on top 
uh, the hook shank there right there and tie this up and just bring your thread all the way back to the hook point there like that and then just bring your thread again behind the head and just leave your thread right there I want to use my rod ties vise here it's going to be easy for me if we go back behind the head you can see the jig it's going to have two colors in this jig here and make another wrap and make another wrap okay just tie this up and make a cross here and two wraps and then another cross and two wrap just be careful and move your thread away and cut this off you see just clean the head a little bit so no fibers is down there in the head really nice you see so the head and the body's got black and white here and it's got copper brown head body here to match the head there okay so i'm gonna take my wet finish here and finish this guy here i hope you guys like this jig here one two three four five six seven that should be plenty enough not gonna go nowhere be careful to cut your thread and this is done you see that just clean a little bit the head a little bit and this is done guys look at that head look at the body of that chick there and i put some glue there a little bit just to keep that thread really hard a little bit there just rotate your bias okay and that's it plenty enough Flash in there, plenty enough color with the brown, copper, black, white head with copper chocolate color there and a little bit of sprinkles there. And the tail with a flashable and brown tail, you can't beat it. You guys can follow me on TikTok. And remember, it's really important to give us a like and make a comment so I can come with more materials, new jigs, and a lot of stuff coming up, guys. Thank you for supporting my channel. I want to say thank you for all my new subscribers. I really appreciate that, guys. Look at that head right there, guys. And the tail there. I know the body doesn't flash too much, but you have enough flashing with the head, the tail. Okay. Take this out of my hand here and put it back to my bias here and look at that head man look at that copper color the white the the sparkles the flashing you better believe that you're just gonna catch a lot of crap with that guy right there man pretty much everything matching that jig man thank you so much for watching follow me on tiktok thank you for thumbs up for more videos and i'll see you next time